A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Assalamu Alaikum May the peace, blessings and mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala be upon all of you You are here with Islamnet, the biggest da'wah organization here in Norway clearing up misconceptions about Islam and spreading the correct message of peace to our fellow countrymen I'm your host Fahad Qureshi and I'm our guest today is brother Amir Junaid Muhaddith formerly known as Oon from Puff Daddy's Bad Boy Records now we want to ask you for some advice regarding our Muslim youth here in Norway. But before we do that, I would just like to ask another question. How does it feel to lose in a basketball game to a Pakistani brother? Alhamdulillah, bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ala rasulillah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Well, first and foremost, I, uh, I want to thank the brother Faha for inviting me to, uh, you know, have this talk on his show. And second, I did not lose a basketball game to a Pakistani. <laughs> He's a Blackistani. So I lost to a brother. Alhamdulillah. But, you know, we got the video footage, so we're not going to get into that argument, you know. Come on. You know, all you heard was swish, 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 you know. And, you know, proof will show where it came from. Inshallah. <laughs> all right, let's start with the first question. And we want to focus on the young ones in this show, inshallah. In our country, there's no culture for showing respect to the parents. The, you know the kids, they're screaming to the parents, not respecting them at all, <coughs> not listening to what they're saying. And you know how it is in the Western countries these days. And the sad thing is that our Muslim youth, they're adapting these traditions. You know, we know the Quran says, do not say even oof to your parents. But here they're screaming at them, they never listen. If your parents tell you to do something, they don't care. So what's your advice to the Muslim youth about this matter? Um, in most cases, you know, because I'm not too entirely familiar with the, you know, the circumstances here in Norway, but I can definitely say for the youth all around the world, yes, there are, you know, many issues with showing dutifulness and respect towards the parents. And like the brother said in Islam, we're taught to be dutiful and respectful to our parents. This is something that is wajib upon, you know, the child. The child has rights over the parents, and the parent has rights over the child. But in most cases, you know, a lot of this uh, discord with the authority of the parent over the child, you know, it stems from how it's established at home. Because in some cases, you have parents who are very, very lenient in regards of chastising their children or even correcting them when they're in error. So the child becomes content that these actions are suitable or these actions are permissible. And then when it gets out of hand, you know, it becomes a hardship on the parents. But then also you have a lot of cases where the child is being exposed, you know, to this, this, this form of negligence outside of the home. And by being influenced by this outside of the home, gradually this, 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 you know, this negative action or this impermissibility of being, you know, dutiful to the parents, you know, it comes home and now it becomes, you know, an epidemic and a hardship in the home of the child who never, you know, had to in, 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 in indulge in this type of activity. So, you know, this is a situation that goes from both ways. A lot of times it stems from the parents not establishing, you know, a certain level of firmness and, you know, demanding obedience from the child to an extent. And in some cases, the children are influenced by other children outside of their home and then they bring this negative, you know, behavior home. But <clears throat> I guess my advice to the youth, not just in Norway, but everywhere, you know, dutifulness to the parent is very important, you know, because when you think of the womb that bored you, the mother carried you for nine months, went through all types of pain and anguish, delivering you into this world by Allah's permission. And it's a hadith, I don't know in totality, <clears throat> but it was established that <clears throat> a man carried his mom, I believe, on Hajj, and he asked would this be, you know, would, would this be, uh, um, uh, what you call it? Would this be sufficient in paying her back for all the things that she's done for me? Or all the pain that she's endured bringing me into this world? <clears throat> and 
and the, and, the, and the companion was advised that not even a drop, like not even, not even a frac a fraction of this effort is sufficient in paying back the mo your mother and the womb that bore you and the pain and anguish that came with bringing you into this world. So we had to be mindful, you know, that we must respect our mothers, we must respect our fathers, because before we can, you know, before we were able to even establish any understanding of the world outside our homes, you know, your first teacher is your mother. You know, the first man that you're exposed to is your father. And you're going to establish these characteristics and mannerisms from the people who raised you. And if they raise you with a certain level of respect, then you actually become a mirror or a reflection of the same, you know, teachings that were established at your home. And this is something you should conduct outside of your home in regards of honoring the people who taught you these good characteristics. Now, in the case of, you know, parents who may be negligent, you know, in doing certain things that is, you know, <clears throat> obligatory upon the Muslim, young kids see this and they become negligent. You know, so, you know, from my, my, my experience, I, I, I've always noticed that this door swings both ways. But, you know, because you may have been exposed to this in some way, shape, or form outside your home doesn't mean that you need to carry on this characteristic if you know better. Because if you have knowledge of being respectful to your parent and you have knowledge of being dutiful to your parents, then this would be a hudja against you on your mukiyama. This is something that you would have to stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be held accountable for because you had knowledge of it. But if there is a certain level of ignorance that comes with not knowing, you know, the reward <coughs> and the benefit of being dutiful to your parents, then this is something that you should seek knowledge and understanding of so you may be able to implement this good character. Because this good character is praiseworthy not only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but it is also something that is praiseworthy to your parents as well. And Allah knows best. Jazakallah <coughs> khair for a beautiful answer, Brother Amr Junaid Muhaddith. And I think that's enough for this episode, inshallah. And we'll come back next week, inshallah. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.